Hey Romance Reader, Linda here back at you with another video. Welcome back to Adore Our. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Uh, today I'm coming to you with uh, two books I wanted to re uh, go over with you uh, from my TBR. Um, one of them is from the Royal Series and the other one is from the Off Campus Series. So I finished those two. And I also, I got my book. I think this is the book that I've been expecting because I'm expecting another package. But I think this is the one that I said the book that I've been looking for for years and years and years. This is it. So I got one book, look, a little book haul here. And also today I'm going to be giving away some books because I made 60 subscribers uh, yesterday. I was planning on doing a giveaway when I got 50 subscribers, but that didn't happen. <laughs> So I'm going to do it at 60. So also I'm going to be giving some books. Uh, and to enter that contest, all you have, I'm going to be giving away to whoever I receive an email from telling me that they want one of the books that I've shown on here. Uh, all you have to do is be 18 years up to uh, enter the contest, 18 years older. And I don't want to call it a contest. You just have to be 18 years older. Um, be a subscriber and I also need to be able to see your name when I look at the subscriber list. I need to be able to see that you are a subscriber because I know some people subscribe but they I guess they don't have an account with uh, YouTube but I have to be able to see that you are an actual subscriber uh, in the uh, my subscriber list and also I want you to comment below on a book that you've read this year that really knocked your socks off a romance book of course that you really really enjoyed and I want you to tell me what it is so I can go check it out so you just have to uh, mention uh, a book below that you've already read and really really enjoy it and that's all you need for me to send you a book and just um, look in the comments below I have my email address already listed down below just email me with the book that you want and I will check and see if you're a subscriber and I will also check and see that you leave me a comment and then I will email you back and let you know when I'm mailing you your book. That's all you have to do. So let's get started uh, with the book I have here. I want to show you that we're on my TBR here and the first up is the score. I think I mentioned this in another video so I'm not even going to go and uh, read um, go over the book because I think I mentioned it before on another video um, that I was reading it and I think I read the synopsis of it too so I'm just going to show you the cover of it if I can get it to come up here here it is it's by L. Kennedy, L. Kennedy. Oh. yeah get it get together let me get it. <laughs> it's the score and I, I enjoyed the book but it wasn't a book that I <laughs> it took me forever to read this book and I'm just going to give it four stars because of that. Uh, but it had a inter interesting story. I did like the story. But it just wasn't one of those ones that catch me. And, and I just wanted to finish it in one day. Well, I stayed up all night trying to read it. No, that didn't, this book just, just did not do it for me. I like that this is the... Um, I wrote it down here. This is the third book in the series and it's on some soccer players and I read the first book. It's The Deal. I enjoyed that a lot more than I enjoyed this one. Um, but it was okay. I didn't read book two or book uh, four because when I read The Deal, um, I went and read the other synopsis on the book and I really didn't, they really didn't attract my attention. I was like, no, I don't want to read it. But I think I mentioned on here that I look at Pete's Love Books and she recommended this so I went and read it. It was like I said I'll give it four stars. It was okay. Um, but And I'm not going to go over because I think I um, went over this uh, in another video but that was the score and I give it four stars. And it's, and if you want to read the series, um, they don't have, she got uh, L. Kennedy, they changed the cover on these books so they're not, these are not the same cover if you actually want to purchase the books. Uh, but it's four books in the series and it's on soccer player and it's a YA because they're in college. Um, next up I have, um, let's see here. To come up. 
it's the Royal series. This is a uh, book four. And I mentioned in my last video that I had finished this. And I enjoyed this better than I enjoyed the first three books in the series. Even though I did like the first three books. Like I said, that story caught my attention. And I couldn't put those books down. I, read, I flew through those books. And I flew through this one too. But I like this one a little bit better. And this is on the um, third brother. It's five brothers. Um, the first three books are on uh, the second uh, son. And this is the third son in the... Um, in the royal family and his name is Easton Royal and I really enjoyed this book because of the female um, lead in here and her name is uh, like I said the guy name is Easton Royal and the female is Hartley Wright I really really enjoy her character because she seems so mature compared to Easton because he was getting on my nerve a little bit in this book <laughs> he was working my nerves on me here and it's about and this is another like I said this is another YA and they are at a prep school and it had toned down a little bit at the prep school it's still the same but it was just a little bit toned down more in this book of, of all the shenanigans going on in the school but and um, he um, when she doesn't pay him any attention so he get interested in her so he's trying to get her to uh, go out with him or whatever but she's not having none of it because she all because she has some very bad issues going on and she's just trying to make it through high school and get out and just get on with her life and here he comes trying to start something because she know he's up to no good but they do become friends and he does something that really really they just say something happened and this end on a cliffhanger people so if you plan on reading this series and you uh read this book right here just know that it's a part Two. I don't know how many books you're going to do about Easton, but there's a, this ended on a cliffhanger and I was like, no, not a cliffhanger. That's why I do not like series. Can't take it. And so I think the next book about Easton will be out next year. So yeah, be warned if you just want to get this book and hold it until next year uh, because it does end on a cliffhanger and I enjoyed it and I'm going to give this four and a half stars. I, I really enjoyed the story of Easton and Hartley and I really like the female Hartley, Hartley Wright. I, that, would, that would push this book over the edge for me because I really, really liked her character. And that's Fallen Air and this is the Royal series. Um, the three books are already out and it's on the uh, second brother and the first brother I don't think they did a book on him I think they got a website Aaron Aaron Watt they have a website and I think you can go on that website and they are right like every time they post on their website it'd be another uh, I think they're writing uh, about the first brother on there but his story is on there it's not in a book I don't think they have an ebook out on his story either, yet either but I guess when they get through writing the whole story they might put it in an ebook or uh, in book form but for now you have to read his story on their website and that's the first brother and the other three first three books in the series is on the second brother I forgot what his name is and this is the fourth book in the series and it's on Eastern Royal and that's Fallen Air by Aaron Watt I really enjoyed it um, next up let's get to my book that I've been I finally got it people I think this is it this is it I know I sing that song every time <laughs> let's open it up and see I got this yesterday. I was trying to hold out to today. This is it. I got it in my hand. The words of the picture. There it is. I finally found it. I am so happy. I don't care if it's good or not. I'm just going to keep this book because I've been looking for it forever. I hope it's good. Let, let, let me rephrase that. I hope this book is good. But if it's not, it's okay too. I'm just glad to have found it. And I'll read you a little, little synopsis of this. When the Cleveland Chiefs baseball team signs Kentara Okuta as their new stop pitcher, they are faced with a man unable to speak English and a media friendly clamoring for his words. Management turns to the renowned linguist department of Case Western Reserve University for help. Doctorate candidate Claire Ferris is chosen to act as interpreter and English, te and English teacher for Kentara and finds herself suddenly thrown into the glaring, fast-paced world of Major League Baseball. I'm going to have to add this to my TBR. Yeah, this is going on my TBR. And as soon as I get through reading uh, my the historical that I showed on here that I'm reading, I'm starting this one. 
and I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. I hope it's good. Please, please, please let it be good, please. <laughs> and this is by, this is a red slip of romance and it's by Kay Swanson. Do they have a picture? They usually would put pictures of the author in the back of the book, but they don't do that anymore. But this is by Kay, they'll say Swim, it's Kay Swanson. And that's the world of the picture, a red slip of romance. All right, that's it all I have for now. And let's get to the books that I'm trying to give away today. First up uh, is a steampunk romance and it's also a paranormal. And I'm not going to read in the back of these. I'm just going to go through these. And if you see one, you might can go on uh, Amazon, check out, read the synopsis and see if you want to get it. It's geared for pleasure. And this is Rachel Grace. And it's two books in one. The first title is Earthly Desires. And the other one is Fiery Temptation. So it's two books in here. Uh, let me see here where the other one starts. If I can find it. That's Earthly Desires. So you, this part right here is Earthly Desires. And the next part, Fiery Temptation. And that's geared for pleasure. And also these books are kind of steamy. So if you don't like a lot of steaminess in your books, these might not be for you. Because I think this is going to be a steamy one. I never read it. I think this is my sister and she um, gave it to me. Like I said, um, if I don't read the books, I usually give them away to the library or I either sell them on Amazon. So before I put these out to sell or give away, I said... Let me go see who my subscriber would like to have any. So this is Gear for Pleasure, uh, Rachel Grace. Next up, I have another paranormal, Heart Chance. I'm sure some of you have read Robin Owens, Robin D. Owens. And this is a paranormal uh, romance, Heart Chance. Next, I have another paranormal, The Accidental Human by Dakota. Is this a paranormal? Yeah, it's a paranormal. Yeah, you can look at it. it look like some werewolves or some uh, vampires or something gonna be going on witches or something the accidental human Dakota Cassidy uh, Next up is another paranormal. This is dark ambers by Tess Adams Another paranormal velvet haven by Sophia Renwick and another paranormal the wolf prince by karen kelly the wolf prince so most of those were uh the paranormal my paranormals uh this one is a historical amanda mcintyre and this is a uh spice novel so that tell you right there it's gonna be a little bit spicy uh, amanda mcintyre tortured a historical uh, next, uh, this is a contemporary suspense, suspense, I think the rest of these are going to be suspense romances, I think. Maybe about, maybe one might not be, but I get this contemporary romantic suspense. And this is Lisa Marie Rice, Dangerous Passion. She write a lot of romantic suspense. And I... I had become obsessed with her right uh, her books too. I had quite a few of her books, uh, but these right here didn't really capture my attention. So uh, you all out there got a chance to get one. Dangerous Passion, Lisa Marie Rice. Here's another Lisa Marie Rice, a uh, Dangerous Lover. That's also a romantic suspense. Shannon McKinnon, I like her writing too. Out of Control, uh, another romantic suspense. Uh, this is, I just think, is a contemporary gentle yearning by Rochelle Ayers. I think I've showed this before on here. Rochelle Ayers, Gentle Yearning. And this is just a contemporary. Uh, yeah, these last three are just contemporary. Um, Laura Dane, Coming Undone, contemporary. I think this is these are part of a series, look like it. I don't know what this series is called though. Uh, this is uh, Inside Out by Lauren Dane. And last but not least, I have Monica Burns' Assassin Heart. I think this was also part of a series too, but because I think the other book was called Assassin Honor. I think I only bought one though. Uh, and this is Assassin Heart 
by Monica Burns. So if you saw anything that you want, email me and let me know and I will send it to you and I will ship overseas. Um, and this will be open until Sunday. It's gonna only going to be for five days. Uh, so you have until Sunday to email me, uh, list the comment below on the book you've read this year that you really enjoyed, and uh, you also have to be 18 years or older, and you have to read romance, of course, and all of these are romance books. So let me know, email me before Sunday if you want me to send you a book for free. And like I mentioned, I do, I will ship overseas to my subscribers. Since I only have 60 subscribers, I can uh, ship. But if I get any bigger, <laughs> that probably won't be happening. <laughs> so get on, in on it while you can, while we on the ground floor at 60 subscribers. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a fan-freaking-tastic evening. That's my word, people. Fantastic. So have a good evening and until next time, keep reading those romances. Bye.